Welcome to the Huxley Building, your home for the next three or four years, where you will begin your journey in the wonderful field of computing. It's waiting to be filled with memories, from the early 9am lectures, to the late nights spent in labs grinding to finish off that last coursework. The majority of your time will be spent here. Let's take a look at the lecture halls. Welcome to room 308, perhaps the lecture theatre that you will visit most. As you can see, each seat has a small table in front of it for you to place your laptop, a pen and paper or even iPad to take notes during lectures. At lunchtimes, there are also various industry talks where you can learn about the various applications of computing and industry. And free food is also provided, so come along for that. The Doc Sock Society also use this for various presentations and events as well, sometimes. If you perhaps want a more open area, you can come here um, to relax on the numerous couches and benches. If you're early for a lecture, you can come here and wait, or even just relax here in the middle of the day. There are even plugs here for you to charge your laptop. And there's also a vending machine over there for you to grab a quick chocolate bar for you to refuel yourself. Welcome to Imperial Library, where I like to spend my time outside the lectures studying in a quieter environment by myself. It is open virtually 24-7, so it is always there for you if you need to put an all-nighter before an exam, although I don't recommend it. There are five floors. The first floor has a group study space. The second and third floors are for silent study, and the fourth and fifth floors are for quiet study, where there is a bit of background noise and you can whisper to a friend to ask for help. Every desk is wide and spacious and comes with plugs and USB sockets to charge your devices. There are also desktop computers available for you to use, although you probably would want to use your own laptop for most assignments involving code. When walking around campus, there's no doubt you will pass by the Queen's Lawn. Many students love to come here and sit and chat, or even just enjoy some fresh air. This is the centre of languages. I like to come here in the evenings and study Chinese or Japanese alongside my degree, and it gives me a nice change of pace. On this floor, you'll find the Blythe Music and Arts Centre. You can come here to practice your instrument in the middle of the day and you can also socialise with other like-minded music lovers. This is one of our common rooms. Here you'll find various different foods from fusion to Kimiko's Japanese curry. You can come here to relax and, and chat with friends or study if you want a change of pace from Huxley's building. Just across the road from campus there is Ethos where I like to wind down after lectures playing table tennis. There is also a gym and a hall where other sports such as badminton or archery are sometimes held. Here is the student union where other societal events are also held. There is also the student union bar where you can grab a quick beer or cocktail and hang out with your friends. We're back here at the Huxley building. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Imperial and hope to see you here in the future.